In this video, I'm going to show you how you create subscriptions and installment plans for your LearnDash courses the right way. So we're going to be using LearnDash and we're going to be using the Upsell plugin to accomplish this. Here I am inside of a WordPress dashboard. I have LearnDash installed and I have the Upsell plugin installed. So first, you're going to want to create your LearnDash courses. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of courses created. And then what you're going to want to do is come into Upsell plugin, products, and you're going to want to start creating your your products. So for now, I'm going to use this course product that we have. If you need to ever create a new one, you would simply click add new. But I'm going to work with this course product that we have created already. So inside of the product, you're going to give it a price. Let's give it $397 because we want to use this for installment plans. Is it a physical product or digital? We're going to say digital. Is it a single payment or is it subscriptions? I'm going to be showing you the subscriptions and the and the installment plan, so we're going to choose subscription. Recurring charges. Is it daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly? We're going to go with monthly. Recurring charge limit. Should the customer be charged X amount of times or should it be unchecked and they should be charged an infinite amount of times until they cancel the subscription? Well, let's go ahead and say yes so we can sh so I can show you an example of a installment plan so this is perfect where let's say we're selling a course let's say it was nine hundred ninety seven dollars pretty expensive course well if you want to give the person the opportunity to purchase it in installment plans three hundred ninety seven dollars let's say over how many times three months three times they will build three hundred ninety seven dollars and we have the monthly them being built at a monthly recurring cycle so this is perfect because this is how we can offer an installment plan if you simply wanted to just have an infinite subscription until they cancel you would then uncheck this and they would be charged an infinite amount of time every month for three hundred ninety seven dollars but again we're using this as an installment plan example so we only want to build them three times and then we will no longer charge them let's go ahead and hit update now there's a bunch of other options here there's um you can offer an order bump your checkout settings, you have the opportunity to customize as much as you want, hide different fields if you don't want their address, city, zip code, country, all that stuff. If you don't need any of that, if you need to have a terms of service, yes or no, we're going to hide it for now, so let's say yes. Um, everything here is customizable. There's integrations, um, a bunch of stuff, but you can dive into that with the Upsell plugin if you ever wanted to. So let's go ahead and just update this. And what you do is you're going to grab this URL options. You're going to grab this purchase URL. You simply copy this URL and you're going to paste it into your sales page. Or if you're going to use the Learn Dash grid, you can go into the, your courses. Let's say this is for the main course. You're going to edit that. You're going to go to settings. You're going to want to make it closed. What's the price? $397. And then add that link to the button URL. Go ahead and hit update. And now that would be the course grid. When they click on it to purchase it, that's where they would be taken to, that checkout page. So here, let me show you how it works. This is a real quick sales course page that I imported using Thrive Architect. And that URL is actually the Enroll Now button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Enroll Now. it takes us to the checkout page for that three hundred ninety seven dollar monthly purchase that course we have our information to fill out we have our account info because we want them to be subscribed to the course that they're purchasing let me show you actually I'm sorry let me go back real quick and the way that works is to integrate it with the learn dash course you're gonna to go to the integrations tab you're gonna check off enable learn dash and choose which course or courses they would be added to so they're going to be added to the main course when they purchase the product if you wanted multiple courses you could select the multiple courses but for now I'm just gonna have them added to the main course let's hit update I'm gonna go back to my checkout page let me fill this in so they're gonna create a username Enter in their password. Their payment info. They can pay with a credit card, which is using Stripe, or they can choose to pay with PayPal if they wanted to. We're going to use their credit card. And then as you can see down here, you can also enable an order bump when they're purchasing the course. Let me throw in the demo card real quick. 
do we want to purchase the order bump uh, for now we're not going to so we're going to uncheck we're not going to check this off i'm going to hit submit payment so the cool thing about the upsell plugin as well is not only is it going to give you the ability to sell your courses with as subscriptions and as installments but it also allows you to take your customer your student through a sales funnel process so we're going to now show them a wait a special offer an upsell do they want to purchase this upsell for 199 dollars yes or no we're going to skip this so we're going to say no thanks but because we're offering a sales funnel we can take them to a downsell as well as, as well if you'd like they can purchase this course for forty nine dollars yes or no okay i'm going to purchase this click yes since we're using stripe it's a one click upsell so there you go they purchased the downsell product for forty nine dollars and they purchased that course for three hundred ninety seven dollars and because we have it integrated with learn dash they automatically have been signed in and you can send them to this order page you can style this any way you'd like and we've included a learn dash short code so right here on the order summary page we have the courses that they're registered to so there's no waiting they can dive right in so now let me show you why this is the right way that you should be approaching learn dash subscriptions and courses because to my knowledge this is the only plugin that integrates directly with learn dash where if the person decides to cancel their payment or their payment fails they're going to be automatically removed from the learn dash course let me go back to the dashboard if we go to the user section here we are the new test account that we just created as you can see here we are a part of the main course now let me go to the upsell plugin subscriptions here we are right here the downsell course that we just purchased this line right here if I go ahead and click on it you're gonna see this person purchased the product on a monthly billing cycle is it limited yes we're gonna be billing them three times so it started today three months from now it's gonna end if I go to my stripe account so we see forty nine dollars here we should see one for three ninety seven so let me refresh it so here we are the three hundred ninety seven dollar purchase and that forty nine dollar purchase so the payments went through so let me go into our billing subscriptions so that person just subscribed to the three ninety seven plan so here they are they subscribe to that course right here so here's the course three hundred ninety seven dollars per month you can see right here so now what happens here's the important part if the person so right now we can see that the subscription the subscription is active if this person cancels if they email you and say hey i no longer want to do this cancel my account if they cancel manually or if the payment their credit card no longer goes through and it fails let me show you what happens so if we go back to stripe i'm going to come up here i'm going to hit cancel subscription cancel subscription so that's now canceled so here we are active if i refresh this now you can see it automatically triggered it's now canceled so learn dash is communicating with stripe so this person canceled well they canceled and they were in an installment plan so they didn't pay for everything so we don't want them to have access anymore so you no longer have to do anything manually like you would have to do with a lot of other plugins now if I go to our users you will see this person is now enrolled in no courses right here this is the test account down here it used to say main course well now they're not enrolled in any other courses because they canceled their subscription and they're no longer paying for their course so that's why in the beginning of this video I said the right way because to my knowledge no other plugins out there are doing that where if somebody cancels it's automatically going to unsubscribe them remove them from the course that all has to be done manually by you so this is going to save you a lot of hassles um, Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.